What is up YouTube? We are back with another awesome auto vlog. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a highly requested topic, and that is what are the top five GX modifications for the daily driver type of GX owner? Now before I jump into today's video, I wanna announce the winner of the monthly t-shirt giveaway, so let's see who the winner is. Alrighty, congratulations. Thank you for being an Awesome Moto subscriber. This month I'm going to be hooking you up with an Awesome Moto t-shirt, some stickers, and an air freshener. So while we're on this topic, I want to talk about a new Awesome Moto merch store that's releasing soon. A lot of you have been asking to buy the monthly t-shirt giveaways, so I'm answering that by opening up a merch store so that you can get an Awesome Moto t-shirt of your own. The reason I've been slow with the video uploads this year is because I've been working behind the scenes on merchandise, doing some quality testing. This is one of the new shirts. This is the Awesome Moto build something awesome GX shirt. So you got on the corner pocket, you've got the Awesome Moto logo, but on the back, we've got the GX. In addition to t-shirts, we're gonna have jet tags, air fresheners, and sticker packs for sale. And all of the proceeds from these sales will go right back into the GX to help support the growth of the channel. So if you wanna pick up some Awesome Moto merch for yourself, head over to awesomemoto.tv. The merch store will be going live in just a few weeks. All right, so let's dive into today's video. This is a topic that a lot of people ask me questions about via comments and also sending me DMs on Instagram. The general top five mods for a daily driver GX. I personally think that this warrants another video, which is a top five off-road vehicle mods, which I'll be doing in the future. But this video is gonna cover, if you're buying a GX or you're in the market for buying a GX and you intend to just daily drive this thing, you're not really gonna do some serious off-roading. And you may be wondering, what are the top five mods for this vehicle? What are the things I need to look out for? Things to be aware of? So I'm gonna cover the top five mods that I've done to my GX. So as you're watching this video and you see a particular mod that you're interested in, I'll put the links below or head over to my main channel and you can find that video with a full detailed overview of how to do that modification. All right, so let's just roll right into it with topic number one. All right, so wheels and tires is obviously one of the first things that comes to mind for any car that you're modifying. Putting some nice wheels and tires really sets apart the look of your vehicle and can also give you some performance advantages. So it's been about three years since I've done this modification and I have not looked back since. I love this wheel and tire setup. So what I went with here is I went for a wheel with a Motegi brand wheel and this is their MR149 wheel. This comes in a nice semi-gloss black, which I really like the way it looks with a white vehicle. Blacked out wheels I think looks really good. These keep the factory spec 17 inch wheel but on the width of these, I went with an 8.5 inch. That little bit more narrow of a wheel gets you a little bit more tire poke and it gives you a little bit more of an aggressive off-road look. In addition, the other specification is the wheel offset. I went with a zero millimeter wheel offset, which really pulls that wheel out and gets you this really nice flush wheel fitment. So I'm a huge fan of these wheels and the offset fitment that they provide, but they're also not complete without a nice set of tires. So I wrapped these tires in a Falcon Wild Peak and these are a nice meaty 285 70 17. So this overall gives you a 33 inch configuration. And I think this is a very good wheel size for a stock GX. The offset along with the wheel height is what really helps you not have issues with rubbing. The only thing you might want to do, which I did not cover in that video, is there's a pinch weld up inside of the fender well. And I highly recommend just going in there and cutting that, hammering it flat and sealing up that seam so that you don't get rust. That will give you a nice aggressive tire configuration without having to do a lift. And if all you're doing is casually driving your GX, I think that's kind of the, the best balance for that type of owner. If you're going to be doing off-roading, I definitely recommend doing a lift. Overall, this is a great wheel configuration for a daily driver and also somebody who may have intentions to grow into more of an off-roading platform. All right, so mod topic number two is the audio for your GX. As a daily driving GX, one of the biggest creature comforts is gonna be the audio and the sound system of your vehicle. Now, a lot of these vehicles came with a Mark Levinson sound system, which is actually a phenomenal sound system from factory. But after 20 years of these vehicles being deployed to the public, you gotta imagine that there's some wear and tear that happens on these systems, particularly the speaker cones start to wear out. So I made some install videos talking about a sub replacement, which I went ahead and fixed the blown sub in the rear. And while I was also at it, I replaced some of the door speakers and then particular for the 
the Mark Levinson sound system. I went with 8 ohm speakers all the way around. We can argue about impedance for speakers all day long. It's a common topic talked about in the GX forums and also the GXOR Facebook group. But in general, my opinion on this as an electrical engineer, I think if you're going to do speaker replacements, you should put the impedance for what was in there because the system was designed for that impedance. So for this particular system, 8 ohm impedance was where the speakers measured that were in this vehicle. So I replaced them with 8 ohm impedance speakers. If you're totally going for an aftermarket system and you're going to replace the amp, just rip out all the speakers and go 4 ohm. There's many more options and you're going to have a lot less trouble hooking everything up. And to wrap up the audio section, I went ahead and went with the Phoenix Automotive touchscreen interface. So this is a tablet based system that's offered for the GX and many other vehicle platforms from Phoenix Automotive. I will say that there are not many options for the GX and the Phoenix Automotive head unit itself is a great option. It really upgrades the look of the vehicle. There are some things that could be better, but overall I'm satisfied with the modification. I have wireless Apple CarPlay, which I really like, but my general consensus for this modification, and people ask me this a lot, is I do really like the Phoenix Automotive head unit, and I would not go back to the factory navigation head unit. For the price, it's a really good system, and I've been enjoying it ever since I installed it. Wood trim delete. Now this is probably a pretty underrated vehicle modification because it's just such a simple thing to do. But the update that it gives to the inside of your vehicle, in my opinion, is a great one that made this list just because the affordability and it's another creature comfort for people who are daily driving their GXs. So some people love the wood grain that's on the door panels and in the dash. But for me and a lot of other people, we're not a big fan of it. It really outdates the vehicle and makes it look like it's from the early 2000s. So for me, I picked up some cheap vinyl on Amazon, removed all the trim pieces and wrapped them. And it gave a drastic improvement to the overall feel and finish of the interior. Pair that with a touchscreen interface and it really starts to look a lot more like a modern vehicle. All right, so mod number four is a great one and it is the steering wheel. After I had done the wood trim delete, I was sitting here looking at the steering wheel thinking, I really don't want to vinyl wrap a steering wheel to remove the wood trim just because that's going to be something that's sitting in the heat and I'm going to be handling it with my hands very regularly. So what I did here is I came up with a recipe and I documented this in one of my videos for a full steering wheel upgrade. I particularly really wanted to change the color. For my GX, I had a gray steering wheel and so I went ahead and I blacked out the steering wheel, blacked out the buttons, and I also blacked out the logo. The nice thing about it is I used a matte black paint that is actually designed for fixing interior pieces. And then I finished that off with a nice gloss black Lexus logo, and it really upgraded the look of the steering wheel. Along with that, the entire wheel is wrapped in a stitch on yourself steering wheel cover, which is a long key steering wheel cover. I have the links and all the details on that mod in that video and it's a very easy mod. It's less than $100 to do, and it is really hard to replace the feeling of an upgraded steering wheel. The change that this did for the price was so worth it. Holding the steering wheel in your hands is something you do every day you're driving. So when you have a nice upgraded steering wheel, it makes a much bigger difference in the driving experience than you would think. The regular leather paired with the Alcantara leather and the nice red stitching just really completes the look I was going for. I was going with a full black, red, and white theme for the GX. So this modification made the list because it's such a good daily driver modification and you can't beat the price. All right, and for the number five best daily driving GX modification that you can do, in my opinion, is the seat covers. Just like many parts on this vehicle, after 20 years, they start to go bad. And one of the things that I see time and time again when I was searching for my GX was it was so hard to find a GX with leather seats that weren't destroyed, especially the driver's seat. So I went ahead and did a full leather replacement kit from RRW. This gave me the ability to fully replace the leather in my GX, which was really needed because the driver's seat and passenger seat were cracking really bad and there was a lot of wear and tear on these seats. The unfortunate part about these seat covers from RRW is that they're no longer selling them anymore and I know a lot of you reach out to me in that video asking where to get them. RRW discontinued selling these not too long after I made this video. I'm not sure why because these seat covers are amazing. I've had them for three years now. I don't have any tears. I don't have any stains. 
they are incredible. But in general, what a lot of you are gonna wanna do that have issues with your seats and why this is number five on the list is that these vehicles are just gonna have really worn down seats. And so getting seat covers or full replacement skins is gonna be the way you wanna go if you're trying to upgrade the daily driving feel of your GX. All right, so I wanted to throw one bonus topic category in here, and that is lighting. Lighting makes a huge difference in the feel of your vehicle, especially at nighttime. And one of the things with the interior lights on the GX is they're a yellowish tone, which I'm not a big fan of. It, it also dates the vehicle. So I replaced all the interior incandescent bulbs with LED bulbs that are more of a white tone, and it really gives it a modern feel, especially at night when you're opening up the doors of the vehicle. To go along with interior lights, replacing all of your exterior lights with LED lights as well will give you a more modern look and give you more visibility at night. And finally, with the lighting topic, these GXs are known for having yellow hazing headlights, and you can fix that very cheap with a $20 headlight restoration kit. I did a whole video on it. So you polish those headlights and make them look like new, you throw a set of LED bulbs in there, and all of a sudden your vehicle is looking a lot better than it did, and the price for doing that is very low. While we're on the topic of LEDs, I like to use LostFit bulbs in my vehicle. So if you want to save yourself 10%, go to LostFit.com and use code AWSM10 at checkout. That'll get you 10% off any LED products from LostFit. All right, so that's gonna cover it for the top five GX mods for a daily driver GX like yourself. So when I originally got the GX, I intended it to be a daily driver, but as a lot of you know, it's really hard to just keep these things as a daily driver. You really just start to catch the bug and you really wanna just start going all out with modifications and just seeing what this vehicle platform is capable of doing. In a future video, I'm gonna do a top five on the off-road modifications that are really gonna help you when you're out on the trails. So if you have any questions about the topics in today's video, submit those comments down below in the comments section. All right, so I'm so excited for the next few videos coming up. I promise that the next video is gonna be the Dobinson 2.5 inch lift. We went all out for this lift. It's gonna be an awesome video. As a reminder, if you're interested in supporting the Awesome Moto channel and picking up some awesome GX470 based merchandise, head over to awesomemoto.tv. The web store is gonna be open in just a few weeks and I'm gonna keep you informed of when that drops. If you're a fan of this top five list of daily driver GX modifications, hit that thumbs up button down below to let me know that you like this content. If you're not already an Awesome Moto subscriber and you're interested in GX470 content and free t-shirt giveaways, hit that subscribe button down below. All right, well, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.